What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. It is a brand new season in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so we're sitting at zero wins and zero losses. Today's video, we are rocking out with a Colossal and Bruxish team that has been all across the ladder. Haven't used Colossal in a good bit, so this one should be fun. Hopefully, we get to start off this brand new season with some wins. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my Pokemon videos go live. Another thing I want to mention before we even get started with today's team preview or with any of the battles is... The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content is still here. I did not give it up on my playthrough. I have a playthrough video coming out very soon and then another guide on its way. So stay tuned for that as well. But we have Bruxish as our first Pokemon. Bruxish pairs up perfectly with Colossal, especially for Series 3 because it has the Dazzling ability. And what that allows Bruxish to do is not get hit by first turn priority moves. So with Pokemon like Shen Pao and Dragonite all over the meta, Bruxish can still get after it. It has the Choice Scarf as its item, Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Surf, and Psychic Fangs. Colossal is going to be the second Pokemon on today's team, and Colossal, again, pairs up perfectly with Bruxish due to that weakness policy and the Steam Engine as its ability. It has Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, EQ with the Ground Terror type, and Protect for its final move. We got Abomaso in the third slot. Abomaso is really good paired up with the Iron Bundle on this team, and then on top of that, it is really good just for controlling weather, say if you're going up against a Rain team or a team that uses weather. It has Snow Warning, Citrus Berry as an item, Rock and Blizzard, Energy Ball, Ice Shard for first turn priority, and Helping Hand to make ally Pokemon do more damage. We got Iron B in that fourth slot with the Choice Specs, making it do as much damage as it possibly can. It has Quick Drive, Blizzard, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Flip Turn, which is a great move when you're rocking out with the Choice Specs on Iron Bundle. We got Shen Pao in our fifth slot, and Shen Pao is here. We're not going to talk about it too much. It's pretty much normal. It can do what it normally pleases, but it's here to pair up with this Dragonite. And this Dragonite is really cool because it has extreme speed like normal, but it also has Aqua Jet, which can be used with Colossal. So if you don't want to go in the Bruxish, you can go in the Dragonite, and that also works very, very well. Dragonite also has Terror Blast, and then Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, month code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bruxish and Colossal Series 3 team. First match of the brand new season coming at you guys, and we're going up against a team with no Legend of Ruins Pokemon. They got Dragonite, they got Delibird, they got Fluttermane, they got Palafin, they also have Pelipper, and then last but not least, they do have Scissor. So rain could be a problem, making me kind of want to go into Pokemon like Obama Snow or even Delibird. So maybe we might go Colossal alongside with, say, Dragonite. We can Aqua Jet that way, and then have... Oh, do I want to bomb? So I really don't want him too much. But at the same time, I really don't want to give him weather with like punch moves and all that stuff like that. With like jet punch. But still, I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to end up going into Delibird and Shen Pao instead. So if they want weather, they can have weather. I don't really see it being that big of a problem. Unless they lead it because an Aqua Jet could do a crazy amount of damage onto us. But I feel like we should be fine. I feel like going into Colossal Turn 1 is not bad. Even if they do go into rain. But I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. And on top of that, you know what could be a problem? Palafin and Pelipper lead. That could be a problem, but I don't think he's doing that, right? I don't think it's happening. Cool. It's just Palafin, though. That's a little scary. He might... He might just jet punch me. He might just jet punch me. No, I'm going to Thrasalize Ground. Uh, fire. Or not fire. I'm going to Thrasalize Ground. And I'm just going to E-speed into that slot. And do as much damage as I can to Palfin. Because Palfin might not swap. Palfin might not swap. Palfin might just go into a Jet Punch. He ends up withdrawing. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what he ends up doing with Scissor. Hopefully no Terra comes out here from Scissor. And we can just straight off get off some attacks. So Pelipper comes out here. I think this still KOs the Scissor. Flare Blitz up against the Scissor. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing. Actually, that's me Terrasalizing. That's fine. That is fine. We'll throw our slides in the ground just in case of anything. That was more so just in case he wants to go into a jet punch, which I really did think he was going to go into. <clears throat> but he ends up just hard swapping. And we'll see how this one plays out here. He speed chunks up a little bit of damage. Bull punch is going to fly over to dragon it, which is fine. And then we should get rid of scissor here, right? Flare Blitz should KO scissor all day. And it does. Awesome. Dope. Cool. We like that. We like that a lot. So if... If what's called does come back out here, if Palafin does come back out here, which I believe it is going to do, I'm just going to hard swap into Shen Pao. 
and try to get after it that way. But if he doesn't, we're gonna proc the weakest policy. But now comes out Palafin. Um, yeah, now it's definitely time to swap into Shen Pao. I'm gonna swap into Shen Pao. If I have to use Focus Dash, I will. And I will e-speed you down. I mean, if we get rid of Palafin for Shen Pao, I think that's a I think that's a solid trade for us, right? Palafin is going to be their big time attacker, especially with Pelipper on the field. But I feel as we kind of have to get rid of this Palafin right here, right now. So we hard swap in, we have e-speed. E-speed will go first above everything else. And we KO? We do not. We don't even get half on that, which kind of sucks. So Ice Punch now flies, KOs us. And okay, we can still get our Pokemon. I don't mind. The Sucker Punch could potentially KO that uh, Palafin. It could potentially KO it. He's going to go for Hydro Pump. And yeah, we're definitely going for Sucker Punch. We're definitely going for Sucker Punch. Ooh, this is tough. We will have Colossal for the back end. But I'm going to go right into uh, Delibird here. I think Delibird's a great call. A great, lovely call. They still have Terror, too. I mean, Sucker Punch is going to be your best friend, so I'm going to Sucker Punch that slot, and I'm just going to go for a Freeze Dry to try to get rid of this Pelipper. I think we should be fine here. I think this turn is looking rather good for us, as long as Sucker Punch KOs, right? So he ends up just protecting. That's totally fine, considering Delibird is targeting down the other slot. So Delibird should have no problem getting rid of the Pelipper. Kind of waiting to see who he's going to potentially terrestrialize. So Freeze Dry comes out here. He's going to say bye-bye to Pelipper. We're not sitting too bad here. We're not sitting too bad. <clears throat> We're not sitting too bad. I might double down in the uh, Palafin this turn. I mean, he might go for another protect, but Delibird of his own is gonna come out here. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Um, I feel like I still have the sucker punch, right? I feel like I still have the sucker punch. I'm gonna go sucker punch, and you know what? I'm gonna double down into Palafin. Just in case, say, he goes for another Protect and it doesn't work out, we can just get rid of that and kind of get after it that way, which is potentially a play from him. And there it is. That's exactly why. That is exactly why I want to double down. But the problem here is he's going to be faster than me. His Deli Bird's going to be faster than me, which is a tad bit of an issue. A tad bit of an issue. But I am choice. I am choice. So I'm hoping I can eat up a shot and then just take him out. This match is coming down to the wire. To get things started in Series 1, or Season 1, not Season 1, the brand new season, coming down to the wire. Deli Bird v. Deli Bird. He has Quirk Drive, so we know he doesn't have best. Oh, wait, I still have Colossal. That's big time. I totally forgot I still have Colossal. My man pots and pans. So we still have Colossal here. That was a big time KO to get rid of that pal from, from, from us. And from here, I'm just simply going to go into a Rock Slide. And then on top of that, I'm choosing to Freeze Dry. So it's our play. Which we specking in the freeze dry, and we'll see how he wants to play this because he still has terror that he hasn't used yet. But that was again a great call for me to double down into that palf and just make sure it gets off the field. He's gonna end up hy hydro pumping me, that's gonna KO me. Um, hmm, am I gonna win this match? I'm not sure if his if his deli bird can take me out in one shot. So I'm gonna freeze dry. How much damage is this doing? That did a lot with choice spec. That did a lot, and I'm kind of scared to see how much damage he's going to do to me. Let's see. Free Strike comes out from here. Do not KO me. Tell you, bird. Eat this up. Cool. Awesome. Dope. GG's. Match number one. Go into your boy. I totally forgot we had Colossal on the back end. He really did came up clutch, giving my Deli Bird another turn to finish off his Deli Bird. What a way to get the brand new season started off. We're sitting 1-0, and we're going up against a weird Roaring Moon team? Not really weird, just no Legends of Ruins, right? Kind of weird at, at, at that end. But they also have Fluttermane, they have Great Tusk, they have Brute Bonnet, and then they have Sandy Shock. So all Paradox Pokemon besides the Torkoal to set the sun. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I'm kind of leaning towards the Bruxish combo here, right? I kind of really, really like going Bruxish Colossal, trying to proc that Seam Engine, and then going from there. It seems rather well. So you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go for it. We're going to get ripping with it. And then I'm also going to bring Dragonite and Shen Pao in the back end. I could actually take away Sun from him. But I feel like even if you have Sun, it's not that big of a deal, right? It's not that big of a deal. It's not worth wasting a Pokemon slot when we can bring in Shen Pao and Dragonite in the back end. So we're sitting 1-0. We're going in with Bruxus and Colossal in turn number one. Trying to get ripping with a Pokemon that probably has never really been seen the rank ladder besides now. Like Bruxious, I've never seen it on the rank ladder until a couple days ago. So really, really cool combo. 
Colossal was amazing in Sword and Shield considering, uh, not Gigantamax. What was it? Dynamax was the thing. So Dynamax Colossal was MVP. He was so good. He was so good getting that HP bolt and then popping that, uh, that Steam Engine weakness policy with like an Aqua Jet. It was just amazing. But he's still pretty solid here. He's just not as good as he was in Sword and Shield. But it's still cool to see a Pokemon like him make a return into Scarlet and Violet. So we'll see who they want to lead. It's going to be Torkoal and it's going to be Tusk. Ah, uh, cool. I don't mind. I mean, Terrasalizing the ground is definitely going to be a play into a Rock Slide. I can really get down for that. I can definitely get down for that. I do like it. I do like it. We're definitely Terrasalizing in the ground. We're not going to take an EQ and be super effective to it. So we're going to go here. And I'm going to Terrasalize. And I could EQ. I could definitely EQ. EQ would be gnarly, but I really don't want to hit my Bruxus. I mean, I could. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but you know what? Screw it. We're just going to Terrasalize and stick with the Rock Slide. We're sticking with the Rock Slide. We'll see what Torkoal wants to do. Kind of scared of him a little bit, but he has Protosynthesis already on. He's just withdraws Torkoal. So he's going to go into his real question. Who's going to take big damage from Rock Slide? Group on a great swap. Great swap. Great swaps from our opponent. Defense is heightened, all that good stuff, so... I don't know, our opponent's looking pretty good right now. I could hard swap in a Dragonite next turn. And then start throwing EQs if I want to. And that's a perk of leading Dragonite instead of Bruxious. But, I I mean, I led Dragonite last match. You guys seen plenty of Dragonite. I kind of want to get Bruxious out here. So we'll see. Great Tusk ends up just protecting. Good thing we didn't EQ. I'll definitely... I'm definitely going into a hard swap. Hard swap Bruxious in next turn and just drop in EQs. I play all day. So we're going to take that Steam Engine boost, we're plus 6 on attack, or not attack, on speed, and now we're plus 2 on attack and special attack, so that's big time for us. Plus they have Sun out here for us, we could just start whooping, we could just start whipping damage. Let's start whipping, let's see how much damage this does support on that, it's a great swap, he's just soaking, his defense is boosted here as well. So from this play, I mean, I think we just hard swap in Dragonite, could drop an EQ, which I'm really leaning towards, or I can just go for a Flare Blitz. Hmm. Aqua Jet's not going to do anything crazy. I definitely have to swap Roxas. Save it for later. So I'm going to go in the Dragonite just in case he's going for a ground move on his with his Great Tusk. And then I want to Flare Blitz somebody, but I don't know who. Root Bonnet can put me to sleep, so I kind of just want to get rid of Root Bonnet. I kind of just want to get rid of Root Bonnet, right? A little bit of a problem. I have E Speed on my Dragonite. We still have Roxas in the back end, so once Sun ends, I mean, they can bring back out Torkoal and get after it. But Flare Butt's gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Brute Bonnet, which is big time. We're hoping we get off we can get off one more turn with my uh with my uh Colossal. But he takes a heaping amount of damage from recoil and rocky helmet. So I don't think he, I think he's gonna die here, right? Yeah, he ends up dying. So I mean great swaps from opponent. He played that one actually really well. But now I get out Dragonite and Shen Pao. Or I can go back into Bruxus and just start psychic fang. That's not bad. That's not bad. I want to see this thing's stats. It's attacks, not too bad. I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. But Shen Pao, Shen Pao. We gotta go Shen Pao. We gotta go Shen Pao. We're looking for the win. It's a brand new season. We gotta go Shen Pao. We will have Bruxus later with the Choice Scarf, which I really like. But they're gonna go in the Warring Moon. And from here, Ice Spinner's probably my plan in that slot. And maybe just East. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I could just protect you, I mean... Hmm. I think we just Ice Spinner in a slot. I might double down a Tusk. Because I know Roar Moon's going to Terra. I know Roar Moon's going to Terra, but it might be a Flying Terra, so I'm going to stick with my guns here. I'm going to stick with my guns. Let's see. Let's see what Terra type is. I'm hoping it's Flying. Let's see. Go flying. Go flying, my man. Treat Barry. Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. East Speed's gonna fly here. Not doing a lot of damage. This sun is killing us. Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. Should be able to deal a decent amount of damage to War Moon. Yeah, great damage there. And Dragon Call's gonna fly here, which probably KOs us. Yeah. Hurts the soul. Dragon Call KOs us. We still have our Sash, which is big time. And Brick Break's gonna fly here. So Brick Break's gonna bring us to one. And we're kinda hoping that Tusk is not sashed. 
but I think it is Sash. I think Tusky's gonna be Sash. Actually, no, it's Leftovers. Cool. So we just found out it's Leftovers. And, I mean, Psychic Fangs has a chance to KO him, right? Rock's just gonna be able to outspeed. This could be deep. We're kind of close here. How many turns left in, in Sun? Two. We're gonna do that. Hopefully, he does not rock an Ice Shard. War Moon ends up protecting. We're hoping Psychic Fangs to just dump on this thing, right? Psychic Fangs coming out here. And it doesn't pick up the KO. That could have been big time for us. EQ is gonna come in here and clean us up. Clean us up. Best game set match. Wow, if Brux just would have been able to KO, that could have been big. I probably should have maybe doubled down into him. But. Mm. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. But definitely a solid second match coming out here. The protosynthesis boost from the sun was just ridiculous. Boosting their defense, all that good stuff. We're sitting one and one. Let's hop into our third and look for that winning record. We're sitting one and one. It's all good. We're going to grab ourselves a winning record here. We're going up against another team with no Legends of Ruins, but we just lost to a team kind of similar to this. Torkoal alongside with two Paradox Pokemon, War and Moon, and Fluttermane. And then they got Vivian, Indeedee, and Tauros. Is that Fire Tauros? I believe it's Fire Tauros. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I mean, I could go into a Bomb Snow here. I could go Deadly Bird alongside with the Bomb Snow, or eventually swap into a Bomb Snow, which could be good. But I feel like we could go Colossal here as well. Colossal is just so good, and I'm really, really liking that, right? I'm really liking that. So you know what? I'm going to go Colossal. I'm going to go Dragonite. I'm going to bring Shen Pao. And I'm just going to bring the Deadly Bird with the choice in the back end, right? Probably your best bet. I'm locking it in. I'm locking it down. Let's win this match right here. Let's get F. Definitely need ourselves a nice, lovely little winning record. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to get the season start off with a winning record. I feel like for most seasons, I do get it start off with a winning record. But now we're sitting one on one. I have a chance not to. So I would like to. I would like to. Well, let's see who they end up leading. I'm kind of curious. Torko could come out here for the lead, which I don't mind. It's going to be Vivlion and Tauros. Vivlion and Tauros. And Rockslide is going to be our best friend our best friend against these two i mean he does intimidate me but i am gonna make myself go uh do i have to change typing no i'm not i'm gonna save my terror type actually aqua jet we we might wanna we might wanna thrash slice and the reason i want to thrash slice is because wait isn't toro straight fire yeah, I think it comes up normal. Oh, Raging Bull turns in. Okay, Raging Bull will change in that. But yeah, I'm going to try to slice just so I don't take four times super effective damage onto Aqua Jet. It's going to be good for us. So I'm going to try to slice the Colossal. He's the star of the show in today's video. We're looking to get rid of him, my boy. So we get the Ground Terra yet again. Come on, man. We got to get after him. Rage Powder's going to fly. Oh, actually, that kind of does me a little dirty because Aqua Jet goes into that slot now. Kind of hurts the soul here. Oh, no. We can still hit that. Oh, we have inner focus. That's great. So, I'm still hitting you. Cool. And Rock Slide is going to be your best friend. So, we're plus one now on attack stat. Really, really big for us. And Rock Slide's going to fly here. So, Vivian should go to Sash, right? It is Sash. And we deal some nice damage to us. And we're kind of hoping we get a flinch here. A flinch would be our best friend. And he's going to end up close combating me, which probably kills me, right? No, it doesn't. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. So he has a defensive drop. Uh, EQ can rip. I'm going to go EQ. Just to get rid of that. I'm confused to why Rock Slide's not super effective. Why isn't Rock Slide super effective? Oh, he's part fighting. He's part fighting. I thought he was normal. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So EQ is now going to be our best friend. We're going to go into EQ. And then on top of this, um, I'm just going to E speed this slot. Get rid of the Vivian. So Taurus ends up protecting. That's totally fine. I think he wants Vivian gone. By E speed, EQ is going to fly. It's not going to hit my Dragonite. It's all good. It is all good. So I could end up just swapping Colossal if I want to, but I feel like we shouldn't. I feel like he gets no value out of him being in the back end. But we'll see who they want to go into, because they could go into a fast Pokemon, say, like, Fluttermane. There's nobody with first and priority moves. There is Fluttermane. And from here, do I still go EQ? I mean, EQ is going to do more damage. 
I could Flare Blitz that slot down. I could Flare Blitz the Flutter main slot down. I could. I could. I mean, EQ's still going to rip damage. So, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go EQ. And I'm going to just go after. I'm just going to go Aqua Jet in the Flutter main. Ends up withdrawing Taurus, which is fine. He's going to go into his final Pokemon. So, he's, he wants his Intimidate back. And Torkoal's going to come out here. And Torkoal, not going to take too kindly to this. Actually, hold up. Protosynthesis might make Fluttermane out speed. Unless it's special attack boost, but it's probably speed. It is speed. That might have been a really good play. Aqua Jet's doing like 5 damage. Can you outspeed? You do. That's big time. That's big time, my boy. Outspeeding a Protosynthesis uh, Fluttermane, big time. Torkoal probably dead to this, right? No, it's not. But Fluttermane's going to be able to take me out. Okay. So from here, I don't think we're sitting back because I bring out Shen Pao. I bring out Shen Pao. I don't need Deli Bird. Shen Pao is going to be my boy. I can East speed into Torkoal. I can Sucker Punch into the Flutter main. We have a lot of different options at this point. A lot of different options. Oh no, it's not Inner Focus while we dodge Rage Powder. It's the Safety Goggles. I forgot we have the Safety Goggles. But okay, um, I could Sucker Punch. He could Terrasalize, but I still feel like he picks up the KO. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to East speed down the Torkoal slot. And yeah, we should be fine. We should be chilling here. First turn priority for the win. For the win. But yeah, this team's actually really, really good. You get Colossal out there to clean up the front end. I feel like Shen Pao and Dragonite is so good at cleaning up the back end Pokemon. Just so good. But E-Speed's gonna come out here. It does not pick up the KO onto Torkoal. Sucker Punch will pick up the KO onto you, but I don't think Torkoal's doing anything crazy. I have Focus Ash on my uh, Shen Pao. Dragonite's pretty beefy. I should be able to soak up this Heat Wave, so cool. Yeah, okay, we're, we're thriving. So he's going to be forced to bring back out Tauros. Um, I mean, I don't see anything crazy happening here. That's a little crazy, actually. <laughs> nice little burn. Come on, man. That ain't right. That ain't cool. How is this happening? What is, going, what is going on here? What is going on here? That's a little ridiculous. A little upsetting. Now he's going to intimidate. I mean, again, I still have my Deli Bird in the back end. Should be thriving here. He get burned. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I guess I'll sucker punch the Torkoal. And I guess I'll just E speed down the Torkoal. Get off as much damage as I can. But we're hoping Torkoal actually attacks instead of protects here. Because we want to kind of KO it and make it into a one Pokemon game, you know? Dude really picked up the burn on me. And like before that, I was about to say, like, hey, we have no way of our attack dropping. He ends up terrestrializing. A little bit of T lizing here. Into what typing? What you got for me? Straight fighting bowl. We love it. We love a straight fighting bowl. This thing's ready to put the punchies on. This thing looks sick. Protect comes out from Torkoal. That's not what I wanted. I did not want that. I simply did not want that. And E-Speed's gonna fly. Doing a little bit of damage. Not too shabby. Sucker Punch gonna fly. It's gonna block. Can you just take out Shen Pao rather than hitting up on my Dragonite? Who are you hitting? It's gotta be my Dragonite. Or I hit my Dragonite. Can you eat that? You can. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh... Yeah, I still, I still feel as we're pretty fine here. I mean, I think we're gonna E-Speed down the Torkoal. And then have, like, Ice Spinner come out here. I like that a little bit better. Because I know we outspeed him. And then just E-Speed down you. And, yeah, we should... We should, This match is definitely... It's coming to a close. He has a diff defensive drop. Kind of makes do from all of our attack drops. Torkoal ends up landing a double protect, which is kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie, but hey, this dude's on like an all-out effort to uh, to beat me here. So East B gets blocked. Ice Spinner's going to fly around here. It has a chance of KOing. It does have a chance of KOing, and it does. Good game. Thanks for coming out. 2-1 winning record. Torkoal's going to quit after this. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. I love Colossal today. Colossal and Buxus were awesome. I really did like them. I really did like them. And you know what? Burn should do more in the sun. I feel like that should be a thing. But from here, I'm just going to pop a nice little Sacred Sword. I'm going to pop an E-Speed. I take it as our opponent cancels the match. Is that a correct statement? Or does he go for a Triple Protect, which would be really cool. He does not. If I was him, I would just try to go for as many Protects as I can get and try to break the record. But that's me. 2-1 for today's video. Winning record. 
absolutely crushed it for the brand new season with this Colossal and Bruxus team. Went 2-1 and, and showcased Colossal really, really well. Used them in all three battles. Used Bruxus, I think, only in one. But we had Dragonite also rocking out there. And then the other three Pokemon you guys seen plenty of times before. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.